Hello, this is Sarah from sarahestelle.com and today I'd like to talk to you about what to do if you're like me and many healers that I come into connection with and that you've got loads and loads and loads of ideas and you've got so many of them that you don't know which one to start with and what can happen is that we go into procrastination or we get stuck or we go into self-doubt we get confused and what actually happens is that we don't do very much at all so oak is wanting to take part here as you can tell so it's normal to have loads of ideas. We are in a world right now where the world needs people like you to go forward. And it's normal to have many, many different ways that you feel that you could help. But it isn't helpful if you find yourself stuck in that mode of, I don't know what to do, and therefore you keep putting things off. Now I understand this because it's in a place that I have been myself and to be honest, I can still be there now. Now I'd like to share with you one of the things that I personally love to do that I was taken through by a mentor of my own and that I find is really helpful for people that I work with and I'd like to share it with you today. So first of all, if you find yourself in that head spinning time of not knowing quite what to do, I'd like you to kind of take on board that actually this is not about you. It's not about you at all. Running a, a heart-centered business, we have to get ourselves out the way. Now clearly we need to take care of ourselves and what we wish for in terms of practical um, everyday things needs to be part of it. So there are three things that I'd love to talk to you about when you're thinking about taking which direction to take your business in and which thing to focus on. So if you ask these three questions, then I know from experience you're going to get an awful lot more clarity. So the first question is, is, is what do you want? What do you want and need for your life? So I always begin that question by how much income you want to earn, because if you don't focus on the income first, then the business is going to randomly give you something which might not meet what you need to live and we all have bills to pay and if you're not getting what you need to live then your business is not viable and in the long term it's very stressful so first of all what is it that you personally need and what ways of doing your business bring you joy so first of all think about that and then the other two are a little bit more out there, shall we say. The second thing is, what does your business want? Now, one of the reasons I know this very clearly is because my work is all underpinned with nature. And everything that I do, whether you come to me for flower essences, although that, that's a clear connection, or the business side, or the more recent priestess work that I do, everything gets a download of nature with it because they come along with me. Now, my, my business is very, very connected to nature and they are part of my everyday decision making. So what does your business want? If you knew that your business has an oversoul and that oversoul is really really happy to work with you and by listening to her or him it's going to make it so much easier what direction would you then take what would you do differently and the third part that needs to be listened to are your clients now again it just comes down to very practical market research if you're trying to make a decision check in with yourself big time Check in with the overlighting uh, soul of your business, big time. And thirdly, and don't forget, just as importantly, check in with your clients. Because there's no point in creating something if your potential clients it isn't actually what they want. They will tell you what they want. And then it's up to you to weave all those strands together and to start walking forwards. Now, it's my, one of my areas of expertise and it's one of my areas of passion to support people just like you make these decisions. So if it's something that you'd like to do, just get in touch via the link connected to this video and I'd be very, very happy to have an exploratory chat with you to see if 
working in the ways that I work might help you take what you do forward in whatever way that is. If you're not sure, let's just get in touch. I'm very friendly, very approachable. I promise I'm not going to try and sell you anything that you don't need. I'm literally just here to listen. And if I can help you, then I'd be very, very happy to do so. Okay, so until next time, remember the three, the three strands of you, and I'll see you again soon. Many blessings. Bye-bye.